You ever get those little aging liver spots on your skin? If you do, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. I'm gonna show you what's behind them, okay? Now, you can call them aging spots, dark spots, or liver spots, but in actuality, it's not necessarily the liver that's causing those spots. It's really just too much of this thing right here called melanin, okay? Melanin is a pigment on your skin. It's what gives your skin a certain color. And this pigment protects against UV radiation. The sun gives off a lot of different waves, or you could say radiation. It's like UV waves. You have the visible light spectrum, which involves all these different colors. And then you have infrared. And so if you go in the sun, you're constantly getting hit by certain amounts of radiation. And melanin is there to protect you against this UV uh, uh, very specific band of energy. And so this pigment melanin is very similar to the pigment in plants, okay? Like chlorophyll is a pigment in plants. There's other pigments too that also protect the plant from UV radiation. And these pigments are really antioxidants. So melanin is an antioxidant. And so the question is what causes too much melanin, okay? Like during the summer months, you might notice that you have more of these spots than in the winter uh, because of this UV radiation. As you get older, you might have more spots. If you're a diabetic, you might notice more of these spots. If you're pregnant, you might have more of this uh, pigmentation. If you are on birth control pills or are taking hormone replacement therapy because of estrogen, you might notice more of this pigmentation. Also, when you're under a lot of stress, you could notice more of this pigmentation. Why? Because excessive estrogen increases melanin. Excessive cortisol increases melanin. Excessive insulin increases melanin. And so you have all these triggers that are increasing melanin, okay? The purpose is to protect you against UV and also act as an antioxidant. So in your mind, you might think melanin is a bad thing. No, it's, a, it's trying to help you. So the real reason why melanin is increasing, it's trying to counter all the free radical damage and the oxidation that's happening in your skin. You have a tremendous amount of networks of antioxidants in your skin, way more than your, in your blood, okay? Even like vitamin C, you have certain amounts of vitamin C in your blood, but you have way more in your skin. And so when your antioxidants go down in your skin, guess what's gonna have to take up the slack and do the work of these antioxidants? Melanin, okay? So when you see these little spots on your skin, realize they're trying to help you. And they're an indication that you are low in antioxidants in your skin. You're low in vitamin C and other antioxidants. And so when you look at the mechanism behind melanin, there's this enzyme here called tyrosinase that actually it's kind of a browning enzyme and it's gonna uh, be necessary to make melanin. And so if you look up tyrosinase inhibitors, okay, things that will inhibit this and help balance it out, they're all antioxidants, okay? You have cinnamon, coca bean, grape seed extract, green tea, aloe, vitamin C, licorice, quercetin, and melatonin. Melatonin, okay, different than melanin, this is like the sleep hormone, but it does a lot of other things. This is a, the most powerful antioxidant in your entire body, okay? And take a little guess what the best trigger for increasing more melatonin is. It's actually sun, but not the full spectrum, the infrared part of the sun, which by the way, is like 50% of the sun. So is it the sun that's really causing this, these dark spots? No, not necessarily. Now, now, if you're going on the sun and you're baking your skin and you're cooking your skin and you're burning, yes, okay, that's that's excessive amount. But typically, it's because you're going out in the sun and you don't have enough antioxidants because your diet isn't right. And this melanin has to overcompensate and make up the damage. But the cool thing about getting infrared from the sun and generating melatonin is that you don't necessarily have to expose your skin to the sun directly because the infrared wave goes right through your clothing, it goes right to your hat, it goes right into your skull, and it can start to build up melatonin in your body, okay? So there's really two things 
that you can do. One is if you want to see some quick changes, you can pretty much do any one of these, okay, in some type of cream and put it directly in your skin. Like the vitamin C serum works really, really good on that, okay? But the problem is you have to keep using it until you build up your antioxidants in your skin. People don't realize that this is really an internal problem. They focus just on the topical problem and they keep rubbing it in there and wondering why it keeps coming back. Well, because the real problem is internally. So you can use any one of these as a coping mechanism, but then eventually you want to increase the antioxidant levels internally in your body so you have them in your skin. So how do you do that? Well, <laughs> this relates to eating more raw food. I'm talking about large salads, vegetables, things like that not just cooked vegetables, right? Eating foods high in zinc. Zinc is so important for your skin and also building up your networks of antioxidants, okay? Fasting, by the way, is a huge trigger of building up your body's antioxidants, okay? Fasting and also exercise, both of them very powerful. And this is why fasting is so good for your skin. Also, of course, avoiding sugar and stress because both of these deplete you of antioxidants, okay? And then, of course, if you're on the sun, avoid burning your skin. Be on the sun on a regular basis, but then cover your skin before you burn, okay? Now, if you have not seen my video, the melatonin, it's a, it's a really good one that'll explain how to increase that from the sun. Check it out. I put it right here.